better demo at uh, MySpace. I'm doing a uh, play night on uh, May 14th. Uh, so if you want to check it out, uh, go to xcubelit.com events. So uh, you can sign up there. And um, I think it's limited seats because we only fit like 20 people. So, so uh, let's just check that out. Okay, so uh, <coughs> so one of the payment gateways is uh, Bitcoin. So I'm just going to show of hands who does not know what Bitcoin is. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Everybody does, right? Everybody heard it in the news, I guess? Okay, so so a quick overview for those people that do not really understand it too well. It's uh, one of the first uh, digital cryptocurrencies and it uh, came about in 2009. So it's still relatively very, very new. A lot of people do not understand it fully and think it's a scam or whatnot, that it's a stock. Some people think it is, but it's not a stock. You know? So it's, a, it's an actual, um, you think of it as um, a gold in the video game. So it's something to that extent. So it is a disruptive technology where it is the equivalent of MP3s uh, disrupting the music industry. Same thing with BitTorrent, uh, disrupting the downloading scene. So this is going to disrupt the currency scene. It's going to happen. It's been out, no matter good news, bad news, whatever you hear in the news, it, it helps Bitcoin. Even though the, the price drops, it's still going to skyrocket after that. Because more people know, more people will want the currency. So right now, uh, since last month, it actually skyrocketed to $250 per Bitcoin in April. Reason for that was also because of the Cyprus, where they uh, banned people from taking money out of their bank accounts. And also the US government uh, recognized it as a threat to uh, money laundering. So they actually passed a law on, on the regulation of that. So it's still really fuzzy right now, gray area, but it's, they're closing um, exchanges, um, Bitcoin exchanges that are based in the US. They're closing their bank accounts with, for no reason at all. So there have been a lot of reports of that. So this is a major threat to all governments around the world. So it is totally uh, a hot trend. Okay, <laughs> so hopefully you guys get that. All right. Uh, okay. So now with Drupal. Okay. Uh, so now with Drupal. Now with Drupal. More Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, so there's only uh, two modules that uh, that handle the Bitcoin um, transaction gateway. Uh, so one is Ubercart, which is kind of old right now. Uh, there's only 43 sites installed it. I'm sure like 75% of them, they were just test installations. No one's really using it. Same thing with uh, commerce, the commerce module. There's a Bitcoin uh, payment gateway and there's only 15 sites using it. Uh, it's not very mature. It still needs work, but it, it does work assuming that you could get a lot of the prerequisites uh, set up. Uh, some of the prerequisites is, oh, actually, I'll, I'll go to, to that. But, um, when you do accept Bitcoin, uh, there are no fees. It's uh, semi-anonymous. If you want to go into a discussion of that, I could go outside discuss about that. Uh, no chargebacks. You don't have to worry about PayPal freezing your funds. I'm sure it happened to somebody here. Um, uh, you can also tap into the Bitcoin user base. So that's a really big user base. There's a lot of untapped market opportunities right now. Uh, so. That's one other thing. If you sell tangible goods or services and you accept Bitcoins, you will get uh, people that will support you. All right. Okay, so pitfalls of trying to set this up on your site is requires the installation of a Bitcoin daemon service on your server. I actually had trouble installing this because I'm not like a super server admin. So you have to like compile your own uh, Bitcoin client or whatnot and leave it running on your server to accept the Bitcoins to interact with the payment gateway on Drupal uh, to verify the transaction data and to update the status of the commerce. Right. And then uh, so lack of documentation in the module. So you almost get no help at all. So uh, everything you got to do yourself right now. And um, other pitfall is uh, volatile price movements. If you do take Bitcoins in your Drupal site, and you sell something for hundred dollars one day. The next day, your Bitcoin could worth fifty dollars. The price could move drastically. So it's really hard to do business right now. But um, there are ways around it. All right. And uh, the future of Bitcoin is seeing that uh, Kelly and uh, Left Click 
those guys made the first commerce POS thing. Um, so now you have a Bitcoin payment gateway. So it's technically the very first POS system that takes Bitcoin. Okay. Nice. All right, and hopefully that will get adopted and more will get built on it. And um, there's nothing stopping it. Governments cannot do anything about this. Besides pass laws and maybe jail you, but, <laughs> but uh, that's the only way to scare the public. I wouldn't do any tiny, business tiny in the US to get Bitcoin stuff. Uh, evolution of Bitcoin, uh, just today they announced zero coin is 100% anonymous. That was the whole point of Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin by itself is not fully anonymous because you can actually trace back to who it is if you know the address of who who that person was. So they actually released a paper just today on uh, zero coin. So it's a hundred percent anonymous. I don't know how they do it, but one I just way around the Bitcoin tracking huh? is if you you switch wallets every time you make a transaction. Yeah, you switch wallets. But the thing is that you just gotta register a new wallet. Every yeah, time. I mean, so the government can still find now. you though. <laughs> like if you put like a uh, huh? <laughs> Where does everyone buy it? <laughs> That's a whole I know, I different know. discussion. <laughs> but um, yeah, like for example, you t if your Drupal site starts taking Bitcoin and you have a uh, address, uh, technically you kind of trace back to the address like how much money went into the address. So the government could kind of find out like, oh, you made a thousand dollars. I'm gonna have to tax you fifty percent on that. So that's one downside of Bitcoin right now. Uh, so zero coin hopefully solves that issue, right? And, that uh, sounds like you're advocating for tax evasion. Well, no uh -oh. comment. Well, you should pay your taxes in. Not US, now. right? So a demo. It's not really a demo. Our servers float in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> yeah, the big island of plastic. Where's Josh? Well, okay. I just quickly installed a Kickstart on this. It's not much to see in the. Payment game. I don't know what kind of demo we give on a payment game. Can you zoom in a little bit? Huh? Can you zoom in a little bit? Zoom in? Nice. Okay. So, fill all the stuff, you put in your order, blah, blah, blah. Right? And your payment. So, this is what uh, the Bitcoin module for commerce It's just, you know, you click it and then. Oh, wait. Why is it on Visa? <laughs> okay. There we go. So it should have an address here, but I didn't install the daemon, so it doesn't update with a address to pay to. So once you pay the address through your Bitcoin wallet, could through your, through your phone or through your desktop, I guess the order will update and it will show completed, and then that's when I ship the order to you. So that's how the payment gateway works, if anyone wants to test it out. Questions? I have a question, but I forgot it. Can you go to your slides? I'm sure I'll remind you. Sorry. Okay. There <laughs> was a question about something in the slides. Which one? No, no, the last slide. The last slide. Okay. Oh, um, which one? Zero coin. Who wrote that? Uh, I'm not sure. I just read it on Forbes today. It just came out article. Somebody published the paper on how. how they, uh, it's anonymous. It's 100 percent anonymous. That's what they said. Is it a new cryptocurrency like yeah, Litecoin? Uh, we mean. Uh, we, we have, we have Bitcoin and you have Litecoin. Yeah, it's, a, it's another one. It's another one. Okay. So they're thinking about like integrating this. Uh, protocol or whatever into the Bitcoin to make it fully anonymous too. So I don't know how they're gonna do that, but yeah, so any questions? Yeah, I just put an article with this a restaurant that accepts Bitcoin for payment and he wasn't worried about price fluctuation because he knew he was gonna get his cash. Yeah, well if you're a business owner and you do take Bitcoins uh, the thing is that you have to account for the price fluctuations. That means he really doesn't care about the fluctuations and he's just keeping the Bitcoins as a hobby because no business is going to base the entire business off of Bitcoin right now because it just fluctuates way too much. I mean, what a business owner can do is like you set your own Bitcoin price. Let's say you only accept Bitcoin at a value of $25, you know, and then it's set. So then you're, you're safe from the fluctuation because you're under the, the fluctuation. Right? You can also, um you know, just convert, convert it really quick, like, and that minimizes the update your prices every day. Yeah, that's not an option. But the thing is that it fluctuates so much within an hour, it could, like, change a couple of dollars. Could go up. Well, yeah, it could go up. <laughs> or it could go down for the hour. Which is what happened. Yeah.
So uh, anyone also interested, I also hold the Bitcoin meetups at our space. So that's another thing you can check out. All right.